So last week we talked about King Noah, mm -hmm. who built up this city with towers and vineyards, and he's productive, and he's popular, and he is not a good man. <laughs> that can be a problem. And so we had Abinadi come through and warn people that this isn't leading anywhere good. This is leading to destruction. So with that crisis over in these chapters, we're going to see three paths of response. Okay. And how can you respond to mm -hmm. that crisis? The first is going to be from Amulon. He's sort of a leader of King Noah's priests, and he's going to double down and just continue on King Noah's path no matter how crazy mm. it gets. Okay. Then we'll see a soldier named Gideon who goes, I, I need to resist. I need to stand up against the king and try and change the way this city works. And finally, we'll spend probably the most time with Alma, who was a former priest who was part of the problem. <laughs> but has had a crisis of conscience and he walks away. And his problem is how do we start over again? How do we build something up from scratch in a better and more righteous way? So Alma is preaching in secret and he's preaching repentance, which is a process he's been through. Mm -hmm. And then as people are gathering to him, he says to them one day, okay, are you ready to make this covenant? And takes them into a place called the Waters of Mormon and actually, the first time he's immersed with Elam, who we baptized, right. they both go all the way under the water, burying that old mm -hmm. life, that old world, and rise up into a new one. So this is a really important passage to this day for how we think about baptismal covenant and the relationships with God and each other through that covenant.